Hello builders. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video uh, to show a couple um, modifications that I made to the front uh, top cover on the RV7. Uh, most of us are putting some sort of defog slash um, uh, avionics fans in the airplanes now and it's in a pretty tight spot especially depending upon your panel. So a couple things I wanted to point out I'll switch the camera around and show you. And this is where I'm currently at. The panel's done, wired, everything's uh, working properly and uh, checked out. I've taken all the expensive electronics out so that I could do the riveting on the top side. I didn't want them in there while I was hammering away uh, with the rivets. And you can see that the uh, top cowl, uh, don't mind the paint. I wanted to paint this before I got it on the airplane so that I didn't have to worry about masking off the uh, um, panel itself. But I uh, did all this, everything was fitted, dimpled long time ago, and just yesterday I cut holes for my avionics fans. And you'll note that there's two different holes here. Same fan, either side, goes down inside. Uh, I've got a little grill. These kits came from Amazon, pretty simple, pretty cheap, just little computer fans. Um, and because of the opening that I have over here with my G3 touchscreen, uh, I've got lots of good access up inside here for both riveting and for taking the cooling fan out, assessing situations. But over here on the right hand side, uh, my avionics stack is in here and it can be taken out. You can individually take these boxes out, but it is a real pain. So I just started thinking about how am I going to access this cooling fan over here. And also, during the riveting process, you have to come underneath and uh, go this way with the rivets. All these rivets down here and here, and all, all internal. If you can't get to them from the underside, uh, you're going to have a real hard time uh, hammering those in. And I don't have access uh, in here with the avionics uh, rack. So, I made myself an uh, avionics cooling fan. Um, we'll call it an inspection plate uh, and that's simply uh, remember now we've got a windscreen that's coming uh, in this way right here so uh, we're gonna have to have limited access I put a uh, lip uh, for securing uh, the uh, plate uh, mounted the avionics fan to the uh, um, inspection panel if you will and this is all just homemade stuff and slid it in here like so. I'll have two screws to fasten it down here and this will then come out with two screws and one electrical connection. Windshield still in place, everything here. If I ever need access down in here to the top of the avionics uh, or if I uh, uh, need to replace the cooling fan, it's a simple plug and play maneuver. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good idea. I just wanted to share it with some people. Uh, I hadn't actually seen this before, at least not in any other of the uh, builder sites. So this is what you've got. Uh, I only needed it on the one side. It was complicated to make, so um, I didn't want to waste my time doing it on both sides. And all this is going to get covered with a fabric anyway uh, to get uh, uh, a standard look. So it's not like you're going to see one square and one round hole or anything like that. So that's where we're at now. Good luck to you all. Um, I'll give you one last thing on the uh, uh, the very top, the rivets. I'm not quite finished down here yet, uh, but uh, you do have to do these in a certain order. Um, make sure that you're watching that. I had to start up here and work down. The middle um, stringer, if you will, uh, all rivets together. Then I had to come down here working from inside the avionics cooling fan area and then the flanges uh, had to work this way, down here, this way, and this way uh, to get everything. The last will be the edges. Everything's clecoed in place. I'll be pulling these out one or two at a time and hammering them in from there and I will probably need help once I get to this area forward because I can't reach in from either direction and get all those. So a little bit of work to do on the front yet, but uh, that avionics cooling fan hatch is what I really wanted to share with you.